of Pentecost, Thursday, being tempted, tested, delivered, and Christian. O Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me, and deliver me. Psalm 7, verse 1. Dear Redeemed, this psalm was prayed by David after some words were spoken by someone identified as Cush the Benjamite. We are not informed on what was said, namely, whether it was in the form of slander, threat, or temptation. In the first verse of Psalm 7, David confesses that the Lord is his God, and that he trusts in him. Therefore, being justified by faith, David petitions God for salvation and deliverance from his evil persecutors. Jesus invites such prayer when he encourages us to pray, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew 6, verses 13 through 15. Simply being tempted is not necessarily sinning. Jesus, our mediator and high priest, was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4, 15. We are especially reminded of this when Jesus, our scapegoat, was tempted in the wilderness by the evil one. Temptations will come, but these are not from God, for he tempts no one, but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. James 1, verses 13 and 14. God indeed tempts no one to sin, so we pray that he would guard and keep us from the evil one, the world, and our own sinful flesh, that we would not be deceived or misled into unbelief, despair, and sin. And, although we remain in this world, are sinners and will be tempted, that he may save us from our tempters, we be delivered from the evil one, and be given the victory. God does test his children. He does this in order that their faith may be strengthened for whatever temptations may come this day or another day. Moses was continually tested for the ordeals and hardships ahead for him and the church. So was Noah, Sarah, Joseph, Mary, Peter, and all other Christians. A pastor is a man who is tested in order to develop a thick skin against the foes of the church while keeping a compassionate spirit for the souls under his care. In various and sundry ways, dear redeemed, you are being tested for your own good and the strengthening of your God-given gift of faith in Christ, all to enable you to persevere the trials that you will face. Being delivered is God's action in your life, whereby the Lord delivers you from all manner of evil, whether it be of body or soul, property or reputation, and delivers you to himself in heaven. So you pray that our Father in heaven would lead you through each day, protecting you from all wickedness of the body and false doctrine of the soul, that his name be hallowed in your life, that his kingdom would come to you, that his will be done in your life, and that he grant you a blessed end and graciously take you from this world of sorrow and into his eternal presence in paradise. Until that blessed day, being a Christian means being forgiven. Forgiveness flows from our Father who art in heaven, from Christ who is with us always, even to the end of the age, and by the Holy Spirit working through the word of the gospel, and to his disciple. That same forgiveness is now to flow on through you to others whose trespasses we are called to forgive in the name of Jesus. Prayer our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Hymn number 396, stanzas 7 and 8. Into temptation lead us not, and when the foe doth war and plot against our souls on every hand, then armed with faith, O oh, may we stand, 
against him as a valiant host, through comfort of the Holy Ghost. From evil, Lord, deliver us. The times and days are perilous. Redeem us from eternal death, and when we yield our dying breath, console us, grant us calm release, and take our souls to thee in peace. <laughs> 